So you had a team and for whatever reason, one, two, three, or even more people can't participate anymore. Guess what? You can still run the race without a full team. Say what? That's right. You can still run and successfully run a Ragnar without a full team. Okay, so let's break this down on how exactly this works. You have a few options. Option number one, dividing up the legs or loops depending on what format you're running. If you have fewer runners than a full team, your teammates will divide up the remaining legs or loops. Legs referring to road races and loops referring to trail races. You will divide up the legs or loops in any fashion that is appropriate for your runners. We don't even need to know which runner is on course. Just send someone to the exchange or transition tent and you'll be on your way. Something to note, this option does move your team into the wildcard division, specifically on road, meaning your team is running just for fun and not obligated to follow the standard rotation of runners and legs. This option does make you ineligible for awards. And on trail, there isn't a wildcard division, but you're still ineligible for awards if you don't follow the standard green, yellow, red. Sorry. Option number two, you can skip legs in loops. No, not literally frolicking and skipping through a field unless you want to, then you do you. If you are running a trail event, you will just let the timer know your team number and which loop you're skipping. This allows us to know which loop your team is on at all times. And if you're running a road event, you will text the race command number, which is a text only number specific to your race found in the runner packet or Ragnar app. You will let them know your team number and which leg you are skipping. This allows us to know which leg your team is on at all times. This option also will move your team into the wild card division. Another option is what I'm gonna coin the number three combo. You can do a combination of options one and two. How does this work? Well, you would run the legs or loops that you want to run and then simply skip the ones you don't want to run. This of course puts you again in the wild card division. But if you choose this option, you're likely a wild card in life in general. It's kind of crazy that we even allow that, but we do. All that we ask is you follow the rules to each and let Ragnar staff or Race Command know what you are doing. It's a safety thing and you know what they say, it's all fun and games until somebody gets lost. And lastly, another option that you have is to of course recruit new team members. If you're sitting here saying, absolutely not, I cannot be in the wildcard division, or your heart is set on having a full team, there is another option for you. You can actually keep looking for replacement runners leading all the way up to the day of the event. While you won't be able to add them online that close to the event, you can totally add them on site when you collect your bib, your shirts, and all your goodies. It will only take about 10 seconds to sign a waiver on an iPad and you're good to go. Just stole my line and it probably takes a little bit longer than 10 seconds. But either way, we can get you all set up on site at the event just like that. You're probably sitting here wondering, what's the minimum number of runners I need on my team? Don't worry too much about that. We have a lot of ways that we can work with you depending on your team size. The best thing you can do is either reach out to our customer service team or reach out directly to the race director. You can find your race director's information directly in the runner packet. And if you do choose any of these options, they will be happy to help guide you on what's best for your team. The week of the race, we'll send an email to the captain prompting all members to check in online. Some super fun waivers will be in there and there's a safety video starring us that you'll need to complete and you'll have the opportunity to confirm or change your classification and or division. Sounds great. Easy. It really is. And to be transparent, many teams at our events do run in the wildcard division. If you need tips on how to recruit more members, check out the video listed here. And if you're not sure what division or classification your team should be, we provided a link that spells it out below. As always, feel free to leave any questions or comments below and we'll get to them as soon as we can. See you soon.